In the Joint Center for Artificial Photosynthesis at Caltech, we investigate millions of materials for converting sunlight into fuel. This solar fuels prototype is splitting water to generate hydrogen fuel, and JCAP is building technologies to create a broad range of renewable fuels for powering our society. Our theory colleagues at the Lawrence Berkeley Lab can predict new materials faster than ever before, and we test those predictions with high-throughput material synthesis. In this combinatorial sputter deposition system, we combine multiple elements from the periodic table using a technique that's like atomic spray painting. This creates new materials in a thin film format that can be further optimized using thermal processing, which produces these colorful library plates where each material looks different because it interacts with sunlight in a unique way. To fully characterize the solar absorption properties, we perform high throughput optical spectroscopy, which in addition to identifying promising light absorber materials, provides critical data for combining with theory to understand these materials and design new ones. After determining which materials can efficiently absorb sunlight, we investigate their ability to convert that solar energy into chemical reactions that generate fuel. This is photoelectrochemistry, and we invented an instrument that performs these experiments a hundred to a thousand times faster than traditional methods. The photoelectrochemical reaction being measured here is water oxidation, where the hydrogen atoms are extracted from water, a crucial part of fuel generation. The combination of our high-throughput experiments and state-of-the-art computational methods is producing a vast materials database that enables us to generate scientific knowledge for a sustainable future.